Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you all the things that I found at the car boot sale. Now first thing is up, car boot sale was quite quiet today. Last time we went there was loads of sellers but I would say it was about half full this time but still bargains to be found. You watched last time I think I found a vintage Dar Dalek comic book and actually loads of Dalek actual um remote control robot ones from the classic series and modern series. I've done quite well with them when it comes to Doctor Who. But anyway, the first store I went to, there was this lady who was selling these packets of uh, match attack stickers and Premier League stickers and cards. Do I get it all in the screen? There you go. Um, yes, these more packs are like £4.50, £5, five pounds i think these are um these are 15 pounds a pack 15 pounds a pack and they're basically just match attacks from the last series she was like very adamant that I, I was aware that it was last series and that i shouldn't um last series last season and then that, that i shouldn't actually um go hoping for like the fact that it, it's it's current but it's not but this is that sort of tenor so you're looking at like maybe 60 pounds worth of stuff here all that cost me was five pounds, five pounds plus. I also got a small Lego set of uh, the Mandalorian. That was included. So I put that on my store when I went back and I thought to myself, I'll just leave it there, ask three pounds for it and it's sold. So technically it's not just cost me two pounds, which I'm so happy for, two pounds for this. I cannot believe it. Um, I do have a football channel guys, sports cards 88. Go and check me out over there, and um, I will be ripping those up. On the theme of football, my next actual lot, <laughs> it really um, surprised me actually. I saw these. Now, if you, guys, if you remember, this is Fun Facts. These came out in the 90s, and they are kind of like... For kids, they're like journals. You get things about school timetables, your diary, but you can also also add like little packets of things into these fun facts. Is what you're interested in. in. So if you're interested in say science, you can add science. If you like history, you can add history. If you like just like stickers, you can add a sticker one. And these are really popular. This is not the most common one. The famous one is um really popular. Is in demand. It goes for about twenty five to thirty pounds. There's also a spy fax, which I loved as a kid. I had that. Um, I didn't realize I actually did these as well. Euro 2000 and Manchester United fan file. Um, official fun facts of the Euros, which is really cool. It tells you about the players. And you can actually write in all the details of, of how the results went. Um, it shows you all the stars. There's Palamodini. It's really cool, actually. Costa, Vigo, I mean, it's just, I wonder if I can cut them out and um, send them to be graded. Uh, and here's the Man United one, which is really cool. A bit dusty, um, but still very, very cool. Uh, they were 50p for the all three. Couldn't believe it. Cannot believe it. Um, I think I can probably... I might try and see if I can trade them, sell them. Some people, I think you can get about 12, 15 pounds each for them. I might do them as a job lot and get rid of them, but they're quite cool. Very, very cool. Um, and then as, as I was walking around, I found a stall setting. And this rarely happens to me. I, there's young kiddies, and they're really funny actually. They were trying to upsell all their games and stuff, and they're good young lads and I usually when it comes to young people when you walk around walking around stalls I can tell that and this is maybe a bit me stereotyping a bit but they were speaking in a different language I thought maybe it might be an Eastern European and the kids were young probably under 12 I would say um but when I was speaking to them they they, they spoke perfect English but what I usually do is guys with when it comes to people is because you're running around a car boot so I'm trying to guess what to buy from people who will have the best stuff generally speaking people that have maybe been in the country for the last 20 years don't tend to have the vintage stuff that i want um usually it's house clearance people and uh 
sometimes little ladies with a box of transformers under their terrible store full of pots and pans and stuff that's usually when i do well but these kids were like had such cool toys and i started digging through and i saw this chap now i think the gun is actually from transformers and the figure itself he stated um 1989 hasbro so that made me think that's probably a gi joe it doesn't look like too amazing maybe it's like one that comes with a, of a vehicle or something and so I thought I'd put a little bundle together. I find another one. He's marked made in Hong Kong. Sorry, made in China, sorry. He's not marked Hasbro, but he does have a H1 on him. So I thought maybe, maybe he is also a G.I. Joe. Um, and then I saw this cool transformer of, uh, is it Megatron? He looks like he has his weapon, and I, I don't, I presume that's his proper weapon, because that's a weird pink thing. I don't know much about transformers. Obviously not original one, but it just looks cool. It's based on, to me it feels like it's based on the actual um, cartoon series. And I found this weapon as well. So this little blaster thing. If anybody knows what these, these blasters are from, I'm pretty sure they're Transformers. Um, that, those, that bundle there was one pound. Uh, so, so far guys, I spent pretty much two pound, two pound, three pound fifty. I wandered around to another store and I found this. I usually pick them up, guys, because I love them so much. Um, if you like, if you like Wally, it's really cool. Um, I try to see if I can get him to work, but uh, he kind of um, his legs pop out, his arms pop out, and then see his head pops out, and he's really cool. It's really cute. I love Wally. I think he's such a great robot, and I love robots in general. Um, only problem is he's missing his hand. If anybody has that hand. Which is like one of the smaller ones. I would actually really appreciate it. I'll happily pay you for it. Um, I just can't find them on eBay right now. I can find spare ones at ease, but they're missing the hands. But he was um, he was two pound. Knowingly, I should have opened him up and had a look at look to see if his hand was missing. About three or four years ago, I picked one of these up, and the hand was also missing. I sold it on its own as a, in a in like a toy bundle a couple of years ago. But um, yeah, but he has the hand. Please, please um. I would be very, very um, happy to part of you. But yeah, he's a cool little robot. And he kind of goes into a little box. So that was two pounds. That was my biggest, biggest, probably biggest failure of the day because of, because of the missing hand. But at the same time, I kind of like Wally. I got a bit desperate, walked around a bit. The carpet cell was one of those carpet cells where it was quite warm today. So people were... Um, didn't feel like they were staying long, bars were just walking around, finding some things and going. Um, and it felt like a lot of people didn't bring stuff out to the car boots. They, most stores had like 20 items on it. And if you're thinking it's like £15 for the cost of the, of the actual like table, where where are people making their profit from? Um, unless they're clearing stuff, which I can understand. But anyway, this here cost me, I think it was £8. Overwatch, it is open, it has been opened, has all the instructions. Bosey has all the pieces. I generally don't like to believe that when they people say this, but the guy felt felt like real because he, he had it all opened up and he was showing people how it's all complete. But um, yeah, eight pounds. When it comes to Lego, guys, my rule of thumb is if it's a, a series like Overwatch, where they're probably never going to ever going to make this again, unless there's like a classic line down 20, 30 years time. Um, they're great things to basically just aim high and wait because they eventually they'll sell out and people will eventually get to the point where they will want them and they'll be gone. Same like Star Wars. Star Wars, for example, if you pick certain Star Wars sets, which they're never going to release again, like Mandalorian sets sort of thing or Ashoka TV series sets, the chances of them re-releasing them were very slim. Uh, so they were always like refund price. But this, this one I'm going to do myself and then I'm going to list it. On eBay, or if anybody wants to do a trade of some vintage toys, I know there's lots of Lego out there. So yeah, message me. It's getting towards the end of the day, guys, and I saw this on the store, and I was like, I'm not going to buy it because it's 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 a cool figure, but I can't remember. I, I don't know how many much like how much they will go for. And this is the um, Black Adam from the actual DC multiverse from the movie. Uh, I'm gonna just get that in camera. I can, yeah. So great figure. Obviously, looks a bit like the Rock himself, with Dwayne Johnson, really good. Um, 
cool artwork on the back. Now these usually I think are around about £16 in um, B&M and stuff. Especially because it's like the main figure from the main film. That's what kind of enticed me a bit. If it was like some random character, I would never would have bought it. But I think they were asking about five pounds, and I just walked past. I was like, "I'm not having. I'm not buying it for five pounds. I'm just going to ignore it." I see a lot of people in car boot sales pick up, um, you know, car boot sale videos in in toy groups pick up box figures, and they're paying, in my opinion, quite a lot of money for them, like eight nine pounds from. You can't make much profit on it. That's your thing. I mean, my profit just goes straight back into my collecting. But. Yeah, it's not much profit in it, but this actually, when I walked back for the last time, it was, I was like, look, just have it for two quid. So for two pound, I'm not going to into that. It's a great figure, great looking sculpt. Two pounds, what can you say? Went back to the guys who had these, because they had a box full of bits, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to keep looking. Bits are always good. Um, and I paid a pound for, for all of this. So first off, is this weird plane, which you actually like connect together like this, and you can... Like that I think they're called matchbox connectors or something. Matchbox connectables. Um, I remember having these as a kid. I thought I'd just take it because it's vintage. Then there's some of these mini kind of like um, transformers. I didn't know much about them, but I thought you know what they make a quite a nice little bundle. So I throw them in, get them thrown into the into the into the deal. And then finally. Two more, uh, like, this one is definitely a G.I. Joe. Um, he's missing his crotch, is broken as usual. But he looks not too bad. He's got his thumbs and fingers in place. He's got his little fingers at the back of his head. So that means he's kind of pretty much complete. Um, this one here, I'm not really sure if it is a G.I. Joe or not. It says made in China. Could be a Lands Court one. Oh no, it says Hasbro. I was right, thank God for that. Um, but yeah. And then finally, this weird looking little weapon. If anyone knows what that is, please tell me. So I paid £2 for that lot of action figures and bits pieces. I'm really happy with that because what I'm currently doing, guys, is I found out when I was during like lockdown, um, I just buying up loads and loads of action force figures randomly. I kind of walked into a shop once and the guy had a bag of like five figures. And then I walked into a charity shop and I went to a um, car boot sale and picked up a load of, load of like four or five figures. And then I went to a flea market and there was bags and bags of them. I must have picked up seven or eight bags and they were like four pound a bag and there was maybe eight or nine figures in them. I had loads. Mainly all Action Force, not G.I. Joe. I then basically just bundled them up and sold them very quickly within the space of like 20 minutes on the on facebook group at a job lot and it must have been 60 figures all together it was just ridiculous and i sold them for like 250 pounds or something which was amazing it paid for um paid for my action some action man stuff I, I purchased and i just can't believe it i can't believe that actually that these figures sold for quite a lot as a bundle i find them like i said at car boot sales all the time so i'm slowly building up a collection and then just gonna probably just job lock them off in it one go um, and just do a massive sell. That's the power of that. Um, yeah, I've got like a box basically to put them in. It's actually the tape box, the Action Force tape box is what I use. Um, and then guys, finally, I walked around the last time my legs were aching now, I've been standing at the toy show. We did okay, not amazing, majorly amazing, but we did enough to make our store back and make a bit of profit for ourselves. But what I did find was this cool James Bond Corgi uh, Moonraker vehicle. I'm 90% sure it's more of a modern one, probably from the early 2000s or 90s. It needs a clean. And when I picked it up, the kid on the store said, I think it's packing up. He said, just, or you can just have it for free. I was like, no, I can't pay him. So I gave him, I get basically gave him 50p of the change out of my pocket, basically. And um, yeah, they're not worth mega money. Um, I'll probably take this to a toy show and try and sell it uh, for like two pounds sort of thing. Get makes me happy with it. Just needs a bit of a clean because it's a bit dusty. Feels like it's been in somebody's, um, maybe somebody's shed for like a couple of years or an attic. But yeah, 50p, can't say no to that. So guys, that was all it today. Not much massive vintage, but for the fact that I paid probably less than 10 pounds for all of this, it's a great deal. All those football cards, it's an amazing deal actually. I'm gonna rip some of them 
and I might save some of them for the future. The Lego set, I'm just going to have fun doing that. Fun, fun fact files are great. Proper 90s vintage, that's great. The Wally I love. I always love Wallys when I find them. Just need to find that hand. The vintage toys, really cool. Really, really cool these. Guys, if you know what these weapons are, please can you tell me, um, especially if you know exactly what line this comes from. There's millions of Transformers lines, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even 100% sure he actually transforms, but um, yeah, pretty cool. There's a little Bumblebee as well. And if anybody knows what that's from, I would um, appreciate it if you, can, if you can get the camera to focus on it. I can't get the camera to focus. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on as always. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like. Please leave a subscribe. Please comment what you think my favourite pickup was. I do like those, those um, fact files. I think that'll probably be my um, fun facts is my favourite pickup. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and happy hunting. Mm -hmm.